talks about how God told Joshua to go around the city of Jericho and uh, try to claim it. Joshua was trying to take back the city. And uh, God told Joshua if he would go around the city for seven days, one time each day, and carry the, the Ten Commandments in the Ark of the Covenant, and if there were the priests that would walk around the ark and they would carry the, the trumpets, the shofars, the ram's horn. If he would go one time a day for seven days. And on the seventh day, if he would go seven times. And on the seventh time of the seventh day, for the priests to blow the shofars, blow the trumpets, and for all the people to shout as they walked around. And the walls came tumbling down just like God had told Joshua. And uh, if you've ever heard about the story of Gideon and 300 that defeated, Gideon and his army of 300 defeated an army of 130,000, 135,000. Uh, Gideon started off with about 25,000 troops, so he was outnumbered 10 times. And uh, not exactly my bad one. Close enough. Well, it was a lot. <laughs> I had to be there, I'd have been there. But anyhow, anyhow, God told Gideon, even though you're outnumbered, and I and I know you can win, and you can defeat, you can defeat this other army because I'm going to be with you. I want it to be so amazing that I want you to send most of your troops home. And Gideon was home. he was you know trying to understand this, and so he did though. He obeyed God. He sent them home. And he was left with about 300 by the time they got finished with sending everybody else back to where they came from. And uh, he was left with 300. And they each had the shofars. They had the ram's horn and they had the clay pots. And they, they snuck up on this army at night. And as God told them to do, they sounded the 300 shofars at one time. And they busted these clay pots and they had, and we had fire in them. And it sent such fear into the enemy that they turned on themselves and defeated themselves and get in and just sat back and watched. Because they did it the way God said. But in the Bible where it talks about Moses and when he received the Ten Commandments, we've all heard about the Ten Commandments, God's voice sounded as of a trumpet. It was really long and loud and strong. It talks about it in the Bible before he spoke to Moses with words. And it says... Uh, so it's the same trumpet, the same sound. I think it was announcing God's presence and getting ready to come forth and speak with Moses. But this instrument is very com more commonly known in the Jewish churches. They just had the Jewish New Year, and it's, it, they sound their, in their New Year with this, these instruments. But in, in the Christian churches, and it's not uh, really known as much. It's kind of uh, talked about and sang about in songs, was read about, but yet they don't actually uh, know about it. And it's the same trumpet that spoke about it and they read about it. But and that's one reason why we share about it because it touches so many people in different backgrounds. And it has such a it's God sound. And it'll speak for itself. It talks about it in the New Testament how one day the Messiah, Jesus will come back on a cloud and with the trumpet of God and will sound it and all the dead when Christ shall rise. And I really encourage you to go and just, just read that for yourself. Other people can't tell you. You can listen to somebody talk about it, but until, I know my experience, until I sit down and read it for myself, it, it is completely different than listening to somebody else talk about it. So I'm going to sound this for you, and I'm going to let it do the talking, and I hope you enjoy it.
Dankeschön.